Now, after many years of waiting, Lambda expressions were added to the Java language in Java 8. Unfortunately, not everybody can get upgrade to Java 8. For example, big enterprise applications would take a long time to upgrade, and on Android, it's only possible to choose Java 6 or 7. It may take still many years before Java 8 arrives on Android. Retro Lambda is a tool to enable Lambda expressions and method references on previous Java versions. It transforms the bytecode so that Lambda expressions become the same as traditional anonymous classes. What is so great about Lambda expressions? Here is an example of some typical code handling collections. The idiom of looping all elements and selecting some of them with an if statement is very common. It is so common that people from the functional programming community have given it a name, filter. Here is the same code using functional operations. It has better code reuse and maintainability because the common operations have been moved into a library. But the code is very verbose. The user has to write lots of boilerplate to create the anonymous classes, and it's hard to see the important parts of the code due to all the boilerplate. Here is the same code using lambda expressions. The same benefits of code reuse and maintainability as before, but no more the horrible boilerplate. The code is easier to both read and write. The lambda expressions can be used on Java 8, but it won't work on earlier Java versions, because it uses some new Java APIs. Retro Lambda to the rescue. There are Maven and Gradle plugins for using Retro Lambda in your project. You will just need to configure your build tool to compile the project with Java 8, and then transform it with Retro Lambda to work on, for example, Java 7. Retro Lambda will find all Lambda expressions, and convert them into anonymous classes. And now you have the ordinary bytecode that runs on Java 7 or older. Let's have a look at what happens in the bytecode. In Java 8, the Lambda expressions are implemented using the invoke dynamic instruction, so that future Java versions may optimize the mechanism. Currently, Java 8 generates anonymous classes at runtime from the Lambda expressions, but maybe someday the JVM will support true standalone functions. Retro Lambda captures those runtime generated Lambda classes, removes anything related to Java 8, and saves them. It also contains the optimization that Lambda expressions which don't capture variables will have only one instance, making it faster than inline animals classes. Retro Lambda is free and open source. It is already being used by many people, and you too are welcome to use it. Learn more about using Retro Lambda from the Retro Lambda website.